All right, our Sailor Moon Crystal Pendant, it's all printed, glued together, ready to go. Let's do, put some finishing touches on it while we discuss the difficulty of finishing a PLA print. Welcome back to the workbench, everybody. Hey everybody, just a quick note before this video starts. I'm coming to you from the editing desk today. And uh, in this video, you might notice that I am working with two-part epoxy resins without wearing gloves. There's a very good reason for that. It's because I'm an idiot. But I now have the gloves on right now, and I'm going to edit this video with the gloves on, and I promise I will never again use these two-part epoxy resins without wearing gloves. But don't let that stop you from putting in the comments, hey, idiot, you should be wearing latex gloves because that stuff will mess you up if you use it too much without gloves. I know. And in this case, it's a do-as-I-say-not-as-you-watch-me-do situation. I'm so sorry. I, like I said, I'll make up for it by editing the video with these latex gloves on. The other thing that I need to talk about is that this video was recorded before Christmas because this project was a gift for a friend. Rabbit Tales on YouTube, actually, who is who I made it for. And this video was recorded before Christmas, and the video before it was recorded before Christmas as well, but the video before that, the 14 things that every 3D printer must have, um, was recorded after Christmas and after these videos were recorded. So on that video, that video got a lot of, of interest and a lot of comments and people were talking about, oh, you can smooth out PLA if you use this or that. And I talk about some of those in this video, but there's one that I haven't heard about, or rather that I heard about but haven't yet tried, chloroform is supposed to be able to smooth out PLA prints. Now, I don't know if that's true, and if it is true, I'm not sure I'm going to be testing it out because I have children in the house, and I'm not sure I want to have chloroform around, partially because I'm tempted that I might use it. But nevertheless, that's, uh, that's all I had to say. Let's get into the video, and I hope you enjoy watching it. Thanks. We've got our workbench all covered in paper. Oh, look at that. Flannel sale. I'll have to pick up some of those. Anyways, and uh, we're going to be using the XTC 3D in order to smooth this print. XTC 3D is a two-part resin epoxy polymer stuff that you take and mix. And then once you mix it, you've got about 15 minutes to get it on the part that you want to print. And you mix it two parts of stuff A and one part of stuff B, which is easy to tell because they give you a container that's twice as big for the stuff A. So that's good. Now, I like to use disposable plastic spoons and throw away sticks for this. Believe me, you don't want to try and wash this stuff, especially if it sets before you get a chance to wash it. Just, just throw the stuff away. Now, I've tried all sorts of things for finishing PLA. If this were ABS, it'd be real simple to finish. ABS, all you have to do to finish ABS is stick it in a little, uh, I've got a steamer pot here with a little bit of acetone. And acetone is awesome because you can get it anywhere and it's, it's cheap and it does the job real easy. Then you stick it in there and let it cook for a minute and oh, the prints turn out, they turn out smooth and perfect. And of course you don't want to do that too much because bubbles start to form on your print. You liquefy the outside and then the outside becomes uh, too smooth. So going back to our XTC, I also use disposable sponge brushes and these are like 59 cents, 25 cents, I don't know, they're super cheap. They're cheap enough that when I bought them, I was just like, oh, I'll just buy a ton of these and just keep them around for using the XTC on. So there we go. There's our XTC all mixed. And now we're going to just slather it on there. Now the other advantage to using these sponge brushes is that if there is a part that you want to keep from being uh, too detailed, that is to say you want to keep the edges on it, like these edges right here, you can just turn the brush sideways and sponge it back out of that part. The point of the XTC is it kind of fills in the cracks left by the layer lines and it, it just kind of makes it look smooth. It covers the outside. It doesn't actually 
uh, uh, smooth it like acetone does. It just gives it the illusion of being smooth. Maybe because it's got such a high refraction index. I'm not sure. But the disadvantage to it is that it tries to smooth everything and it loves to get into these corners. So you really have to, I may have to use a second one on this job and sponge it back out of that, those corners before we're done here. Oh, and I'm running out of places to touch this. I'm gonna get the stuff on my fingers. So, I have tried everything for smoothing out PLA prints. I mean, I've got the, oh, what is this stuff? Tetra Florian that I tried and I've tried other organic solvents. There is nothing that you can just stick in a container and smooth out your prints like you can with, with ABS. There's just no solution for that with PLA. Now I've heard some people have some success with certain combinations of things. For PLA, now the people who say that they've had success with it, I think they might be using a different PLA than I'm using. There are different formulations of PLA made by different companies. And so it's possible that they're getting a variation of PLA that I'm not getting. Oh, so gross. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to try and sponge out the inside of this, hoping to get those details back, even though I'm trying to kill the layer lines at the same time. It's a it's a fine art, it's a process. We're we're still you know, figuring this out. So that's it. Now that that's done, or mostly done, uh, it's just a matter of letting it dry. And it's going to take about an hour, maybe longer. It's really cold in the workbench right now. So I might want to uh, uh, let this, or I might want to take this inside where it's a little bit warmer to set up or maybe put a heater on it. We'll see. But that is how you use XTC. It's a lot more intensive a process. It pools up and it drips down while it's cooling. It's nasty, but it kind of does the job. It does the job as good as anything else that I've been able to find anyways. So I wanted to show by way of contrast how easy it is to smooth a P ABS print. All you have to do is get a, I have a little steamer pot here that I got for a couple of dollars and uh, I put the prints in the steamer pot we'll just lower them right in there um and then all you have to do is just whoa okay i've got some residual steam in there for the last time and then just uh turn it on to warm put the lid on and let it cook for a minute this is so easy to do and so effective that uh i mean, honestly it's it's worth the abs warping and getting a heated build platform just to be able to use that plus when you smooth it like this, the layers bond a little bit and they they become even stronger as a print, which uh, the XTC doesn't give you that. It's purely aesthetic. This is actually, it's functionally stronger and it only takes a second. Look at all these, the ABS, it, it, or the acetone, it already wants to be a gas. Uh, that's why you got to keep it lidded all the time because it will just evaporate a little bit of heat and it just turns immediately into a vapor and that's soaking into the outside layer of the print and the print is ready to go i'm going to go ahead and turn that off at this point and uh oof, acetone fumes don't breathe that actually it's not too bad acetone fumes uh uh does it's non-toxic it doesn't hurt you it does have uh, uh <coughs> excuse me si um short-term memory uh, thing uh what were we talking about Oh, hey, Sailor Moon Pendant, I gotta record a video. So that's it, easy, right? So I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope that you will maybe use this information. I hope that you'll click the Simon button and subscribe to this channel for more 3D printing projects and tips and videos. Thank you so much for watching.